Good afternoon. President Biden announced the release of 15 million barrels of oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. We're going to continue to stabilize markets and decrease the prices at a time when the actions of other countries have caused such volatility. The White House says the move is meant to act as a wartime bridge to increase oil supplies while the U.S. ramps up domestic production to replace the oil loss to the war in Ukraine. We're producing 12 million barrels of oil per day. And by the end of this year, we will be producing one million barrels a day, more than the day in which I took office. The oil producer nations that make up OPEC Plus announced a major production cut two weeks ago. President Biden urged Saudi Arabia not to take that step, but it did anyway. The choices made by other countries are affecting the price of gas here at home. That's why I've been acting so aggressively. This move by the administration to bring down prices at the pump comes just three weeks ahead of the midterm elections, and Republicans have been hammering Democrats over inflation. That rising energy price that people see at the pump, that they see in the utility bills, that our farmers see when they're paying more for diesel, that was the direct result of policies enacted by Joe Biden, Nancy Pelosi, and supported 100% by Tim Ryan. In the latest CBS News poll, 65% of registered voters said the economy is getting worse, and 45% of those surveyed said President Biden is responsible for the economic conditions. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.